If you're eyeing those satisfaction point rewards but have no idea how you're going to afford them, then you've come to the right place. We're going to take a look at every way that you can gain satisfaction points in The Sims 4, and I think that there will be a few that you didn't know about. But first up, we'll look at what you very likely did know about, which is completing aspirations. You'll gain points for completing each part of an aspiration milestone, as well as each milestone stage too. Overall, working on milestones is one of the best ways to gain aspiration points in the game, and it's not a bad idea to swap between aspirations depending on what your sim is focusing on in order to get extra points by completing more tasks and milestone stages. A helpful side note is that depending on how much money your sim has made and how wealthy your sim is, sometimes swapping to some of the fortune aspirations in particular can complete a large chunk of these aspirations instantly, giving you lots of satisfaction points in the process. Next up is by completing once. And for this, you'll need to have wants and fees enabled in the gameplay section of game options. Provided that you've turned these on, up to three wants will appear around your sim's head on the lower left while playing, revealing various things that your sim wishes to do. And completing these will grant your sim with a small amount of satisfaction points. The left and middle ones are often tied in with aspects of your sim, such as their traits, aspirations, relationships, and more. And know that while these two ones will change regularly, they can also be pinned, preventing them from changing until they're completed. Then the right want is a little bit different as it is generally tied to your environment, needs, or situation. Wants are great to get a few extra points here and there, but know that while they are relatively easy to complete, they often won't grant you with heat of satisfaction points. The next way to gain satisfaction points is to clear fears, and fears are like the opposite side to the wants coin. While playing, your sims can develop various fears, and these appear alongside your traits with a purple background. When your sim has a fear, then often nearby their wants in a spiky bubble will be a desire to remove one of their fears, which is done differently depending on what fear your sim is looking to get rid of. Successfully clearing a fear that was featured in the spiky bubble will grant your sim 100 satisfaction points. And while this isn't something that you can take advantage of all too often, it can still be a nice little boost when saving for various rewards. Now get festive friends, as one of the easiest ways to gain satisfaction points is by engaging with holidays. And this will require the season's expansion pack. Holidays will roll around from time to time, and of course you can make additional holidays with the calendar too. Holidays appear as an event and have a series of traditions that you can engage with, and how much you partake in these will determine how good of a holiday your sims have. Keep in mind that both the size of a holiday and how great an experience your sim had on the day will determine how many satisfaction points your sims receive. Engaging with smaller holidays is generally a quick way to earn around 100 satisfaction points, while larger holidays like Harvest Fest and Winter Fest can see you gain 250 satisfaction points for engaging with the holiday a bit, and a massive 500 points if you engage with the holiday to a large extent, with the background on the traditions panel signaling how good of a holiday your sim is having. Honestly, getting your sims involved in holidays is one of the best ways to get satisfaction points. And it's while we're on the topic of holidays that I also want to talk about the Father Winter's baby trait. As you likely know, Father Winter will show up at your home during Winterfest with gifts. And if you decide to reciprocate and give Father Winter the gift of a baby that you have with him, then the baby will be born with the Father Winter's baby trait. And this trait has a hugely helpful benefit in increasing satisfaction point gain from once by 50%. Sadly, this bonus doesn't seem to apply to completing aspiration milestones but overall it is still rather helpful. The next way to gain satisfaction points is through cats and dogs. And yes, you'll need the cats and dogs expansion pack for this. If you become really close with your cat or dog, then from time to time after showering them with affection, you'll be able to feel the love with them, which sees you give them a big snuggle and gain 100 satisfaction points. But it gets better. If you've become a companion with your pet, then the amount of satisfaction points you'll receive is doubled. 
gold. And so a feel the love interaction will give you 200 satisfaction points. And guess what? That's right. It gets better. If your cat has the affectionate trait, or alternatively if your dog has the loyal trait, then there will be a further 25% increase on the amount of satisfaction points that you get. Meaning that you'll get 125 points, or alternatively if you and your pet are companions, then you'll get 250 points. Let's keep going now and take a look at living on a haunted house residential lot. And you'll need the paranormal stuff pack for this one. Of course, living in a haunted house residential lot has its challenges. From specters that'll run amok and creepy oddities that will spawn to make you scared. However, for every night that you make it through living on a haunted house residential lot, your sim will gain 250 satisfaction points. I know it sounds pretty good, but you can take this further. If you use the helping hand object to enable heroic mode, then your house will become much more difficult to live in. But you'll also double the amount of points that you get per night you make it through, granting you 500 points per night, which is huge. Moving on, and another way to gain satisfaction points is through a little known trait. If you have the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack and you go into the Civil Planner Career Branch of the Civil Designer Career, then when when you reach level 10 of the career, you'll be awarded the Champion of the People trait. This trait makes it so that your sim gains extra influence points and also gains satisfaction points when gaining influence as well. Essentially, any interaction that gives you influence, such as a friendly introduction to another sim or giving a sim a gift, will also give you 25 satisfaction points now. And honestly, this trait will really see you rack up heaps of satisfaction points just through your everyday interactions, making it really beneficial. And now the final way to gain satisfaction points is by completing scenarios. You can access scenarios from the main menu, and many of these grant satisfaction points as their reward. Of course, completing scenarios does really direct or dictate your gameplay style, so this might not be what you want to use all the time, but it's still good to know that it's an option. And with that, we're at the end. That's every way to gain satisfaction points in The Sims 4. Well, I hope it's every way. If I missed any, I apologize. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.